Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. As the days have been getting shorter, the sunrise has been getting later and later. So I've been seeing it more often and it's beautiful. Uh, but I also think about when I'm in the woods hunting uh, or just out doing things, uh, you start off in darkness. And as that sun comes up, it gets lighter little by little until before you know it, you can see clearly, you can see perfectly fine. Uh, and the Bible describes a similar thing. In Proverbs chapter 4 and verses 18 and 19, but the path of the righteous is like the light of dawn, which shines brighter and brighter until full day. The way of the wicked is like deep darkness. They do not know over what they stumble. In our lives, we look towards what we need to be doing, where our paths are leading us. And the Bible is very clear that when we follow God and his instructions, we walk in the path of righteousness, we are able to see we are in that bright path, as Michael talked about just a minute ago. We get to see everything around us, and the path that before us is very clear, and we're always in a good position, not looking to stumble around. But when we turn to our own understandings, when we turn to the things of the world to help us understand how everything is supposed to go and be, we can often, uh, in our in the darkness, be stumbling around not knowing exactly where to go, fumbling, but yet we think that it's the only way to go because we have been ensnared by the temptations of the world that continue to lead us away from the paths of light and the ways of righteousness into the darkness. And the further we go down, the darker it becomes and the harder it is for us to be able to find our way. This is why we in our lives need to turn to the Lord for our understanding. The beginning of all knowledge is the fear of the Lord, and this must be our priority. So let's be looking to how we can walk on the path of righteousness this week, looking towards the light and not the darkness. I want to thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you again next week.